actually had to like I'm not saying like and I was like oh my god I love that so much like I love that so much I actually had to like I'm not saying like this proves that guys like me but I'm just letting you guys know that I had to turn my snapchat off I had to make it private because I constantly got hit on by men it was literally constant and I'm over here like you know I have a girlfriend you know I'm a lesbian it was really bad and it's not even just online but it's like even in real life. I just don't understand why she would even say this as if it proves anything at all, dude. You're an e-celeb, so obviously there are gonna be a copious amount of people online that are just gonna hit you up. And of course with the, I don't know, is it really even a, like, a, a thing to say, like an accomplishment to be like, oh yeah, guys wanna have sex with me? Dude, I have men that hit me up and go, hey, what flavor is your penis? Can you tell me what your, your butthole smells like? If you were to describe your butthole in four sentences, how would you describe it? Please be vivid. And I'm just sitting here like, dude, it's not an accomplishment for have, to have men that are going to hit on you. It's an obvious thing. Men are literally out here willing to have sex with literally almost anything. So, of course, men are going to hit you up. I'm not surprised by that. But why would you even talk about it as if it's some kind of like guys oh my god guess what so like i know i'm a lesbian and i know that like everybody knows i'm a lesbian but like i'm so hot that like literally guys are still hitting on me like i can't even can you can you guys believe that i'm like such a pretty girl i'm like such a hottie with a body check me out oh my god men want me it is what it is sorry guys mm -mm, sorry like why are you bragging about that what is this mean girl itis that amberlyn has that she thinks she's like a 10 no matter where she is main character syndrome through the fucking roof man Every single time I wear it in public, I get complimented on it. I, it's like, why? Dude, okay, I get it. You want people to acknowledge that you're pretty. Or you want people to acknowledge that, that even though you look like a bag of potatoes, that people look at you and they think you're attractive. I'm not doubting that people do think you're an attractive person, but that's very few and far between. And the fact that you have to keep telling us that there are people that think that you're attractive is giving me very much so that's not happening. You're just saying this just to make sure people understand that you do. Like, I don't. If you didn't tell me, I would have thought more people would thought you were attractive. If you keep going off and going, guys, so, like, so many people think I'm so hot. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. Like, I'm really attractive. Why are you being such a pick-me? What? <laughs> what is the purpose of this right now? Dude, do you really want that attention that bad? You really need everybody else's validation that bad? It's just, like, an insecure person talking right now. Like, literally just yesterday in Trader Joe's. I mean, I'm telling you every single time. Like, that, that makes sense. You know, Amberlynn, even though she's super ridiculously overweight, going to Trader Joe's, my God, dude. You like spending literally 50% more money on literally every single purchase, dude. Who's going to Trader Joe's, bro? The most bougie, the most bougie uh, supermarket out there, dude. I don't even know if you can count it as a supermarket. I remember I literally walked in there and I saw like a bag of chips that was like their organic version. It was like literally $9. And I was like, this is, who's buying this? But there were people buying it. Sometimes the price of an item is sometimes the, the, the reason why people buy it. Sometimes people look at the increased value of that thing and they go, I know it's not good. I know it's really, really expensive and it's probably arguably worse for me compared to like Doritos that I can get at the grocery store for $4, but I want to be bougie. So people buy it. When me and my mom went to Golden Chicken, like it was an older woman, like literally in her 80s who complimented me. What, what'd she And then she like say? yesterday in Trader Joe's, it was probably like a 20 year old. I don't think I've ever been complimented on her purse so much in my life. Okay. Becky, you're so hot. Ugh, I can't take it. Can you be mine? That's a, that's a lie. I know. Oh my God. That is so, <laughs> dude, whenever Amber is on live streams, I see so much of the real her come out, bro. And that's what I love about Amber on live streams because on video, she could put on this facade. She could put on this elaborate illusion of, I'm a nice girl. Trust me, guys. I'm so great. Like, I'm never going to be mean. But when she's on live stream, she's so authentic because it's very hard to put on an elaborate illusion for any extended period of time, especially if you're trying to bestow upon people your real you. So whenever I see Amber on the live streams, dude, I'm always like, this is her. This is the real her. And she's a straight up mean girl. Can't give Becky any type of compliments, dude. Got a completely backhander no matter what. It's really fucked up. So much of my life. Becky, you're so hot. Ugh, I can't. And to be honest, dude, Amber looking like, woo, damn, Amber looking like multiple frying pans stacked up. Take it. Can you be mine? That's a, that's a lie. I know they're trolling. So hot. I know they're trolling. I'm not even. In that's so crazy though, dude. Oh, look at that. That's a nice little, that's a nice little tattoo. I actually kind of really like that tattoo. Becky is so unique, isn't she? Uh, Amber is a, such a, 
Amber is such a mean girl. I don't know why she would even say that, even if it was fake. Or even if somebody was trolling, dude. Why does it matter? It's a compliment regardless. I've had people literally tell me before, Hey, David, you look like Steve Buscemi. Well, you know, Steve Buscemi is an attractive guy to a lot of people. And you know what? He was a hero. God damn it. On 9-11, you know what, dude? I'll take it. I'll take that compliment, dude. Even if it's a bad compliment, I'll still take it. What are you going to say about it? Like, it is what it is. If, if, if I was with a girl and she said, oh, my God, David, your penis looks so cute. Obviously, it's not the compliment that I want. I want my penis to be reflected as, like, a, a hulking mass of destruction. Not cute. Cute is crazy. FYI, if you're a girl and you compliment a dude's penis by saying it's cute, that is not good. Don't ever do that. That's terrible. I don't care if it is cute. Never do that. And uh, I'll accept it, though. I'll go, thanks. Uh, I appreciate it. Obviously, it's not as cute as you think it is because on the other side of it, there are literally arms sprouting out with axes, like big battle axes that are willing to, like, just chop off the heads of my enemies. But anyway. Shot anymore. They're trolling. Yeah, I know they are. You know what's Crazy. funny? Crystal's mom do doesn't... And I love that Becky also has to play into it because she just doesn't want to argue with Amber. But if it were me, I'd be like, nah, they really did. Bro, people are really telling me that I look so good right now, Amber. It's actually kind of crazy how good I look compared to you. Like, how many compliments have you gotten recently, actually? Yeah, you kind of look a little bit musty today. Hey, what's that shit underneath your armpit right there? Hey, is that the grease from the chicken that you were eating earlier? You kind of look real busted right now. Anyway, guys, I look real good, right? I look real good. Yo, Amber, chill back for a second. Let me get into the frame. You got to take up the entire, the 16 by 9 ratio right now, dude. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You literally take up the entire culture right now. That's what I'd be saying if I was Becky. I don't like these at all. Yeah, they're, they're kind of busted, bro. I, I, I don't know what Amber thought, whatever she was in, dude. Hashtag emo era. Hashtag all American reject era. Hashtag 30 seconds to Mars era. That, uh... Amberlynn Reed was in, what is this, like 2010 Amber, dude? What the fuck is going on with this? Hilarious, actually. Someone, like, complimented me on my sure. lip piercings because a lot of people do compliment me on them. But why, though? Like, I mean, I guess it's, like, the most weird thing on your face. That's one of the reasons why everybody compliments anybody on, like, face, ta face tattoos or face piercings. It's mainly because, like, when you look at somebody and you see the piercings, it's, like, the first thing that sticks out because you see a normal person's face. Well, maybe not normal, but you know what I'm talking about. You see a normal person's face, but then you see the piercings and you're like oh oh those are piercings so uh yeah i wouldn't be surprised if people were commenting on her because uh that's like all you can compliment her and crystal's mom goes i can't wait until she gets tired of them and takes them out i really want to be fluent in sign language like if i could choose any thing to be fluent in it would be that sign wouldn't it be like uh espanol isn't that like the second most used language in the world am i wrong isn't espanol or what else is it chinese maybe maybe those one of those two i guess if you were going to be fluent in any language but the way i like to look at languages is like you may not be you might not be like good in two different languages but if you're really proficient in one that should make up for the other two because like if you're like 100 and 110 percent good at one language i feel like that's better than being 50 percent good at one and then 50 percent good at the other my language is so I don't know. I just love it so much. Why? I learned how to do sign language, A, B, C, D, E, whatever. I don't need to do it all. Yeah, because you don't know how to do it? Dude, shut the fuck up, bro. How are you going to try to prove a point and you can't even do the point on camera, dude? That's so disrespectful. I learned how to do that when I was, I think, 10 or 11. Every time I would talk or every time someone would talk around me or every time I would think, just any time there were words involved, um, I would have my hand hidden so no one can see it and i would sign every single thing somebody would say and i couldn't stop myself from doing it it became really obsessive like i literally couldn't stop it. what is this lore that why does she have to come up with random lore points it's like she's so boring that she doesn't have actual good lore about herself naturally so she has to come up with random lore points to make it seem like she's a lot cooler than she actually is when in reality she's not cool she's just like extremely boring she has nothing going on that's why she has to come up with these points and it was scaring the shit out of me. When I was in a group home- Why would it scare you, dude? Like, just stop doing it. I guess when you're nine years old, it's a little bit different. Since, like, you're just doing cringy shit regardless, right? I guess. Like, I remember when I was, like, I think I was around that same age, like, seven or eight. I used to play Donkey Kong on the N64. And I was not good at it, obviously. And the N64 controller was always bad. It was- I don't know why so many people thought it was good. Like, if you told me that it was a three-way dildo, I would have believed you. But it wasn't. It was a controller. And I used to play it. And Donkey Kong used to walk in a very particular style. He'd walk with his hands first. And I remember that when I was playing, like, soccer... I was never good at soccer, by the way. I sucked at it. But you know how it is when you're a child. You're children. You don't really... You know, it doesn't really matter if you're good at something. You just kind of do it anyway, and they give you a trophy for it. So... 
I was playing this particular uh, soccer game, or football, as you Europeans like to say, and I was running around like I was Donkey Kong. I don't know why I was doing it. I, I guess I thought it was more efficient, or I thought that I was, like, dialing in my inner, you know, uh, primal instinct or something like that, or I just kind of thought I was, maybe I was just retarded. I don't know, dude. There was a whole bunch of, I probably was just mentally just, just disabled at that particular moment in time. But we all do things at our younger ages, especially when you're a child below the age of 10, that uh, you don't think, uh, in the moment you think is good, but then later on you realize, like, wait, was I just dumb? Yes, you were dumb. I don't know if Amber, if that story was correct, but given the fact that Amber lies about in the literal everything, I wouldn't be surprised that it was not true. Um, this weird OCD thing started. I would do this thing where I would sign language <laughs> with letters, the alphabet, what people would say, if it was like in a movie, sometimes even what I was thinking, and I would do it like next to my leg. I literally couldn't stop. And if I didn't do it, it almost felt like I was gonna combust, like something bad was gonna happen. I used to know how to sign Stand By Me. Um, I think around the same age as when what? I learned it. I have been in- Stand lab. By Me, dude? Hashtag great movie, right? Stand by me, great movie. Of talent shows, but only about five of them were actually like first prize, second prize. Um, out of the five, I won four first prize. And it's okay to it's okay to say that you sucked as a kid, dude. Let's be honest here for a second. I know when I played sports as a child, dude, I wasn't like a D1 athlete or I wasn't, you know, I, I really was garbage. Like it was it was tragic. It was, everything I played was literally trash. Like I played soccer, was never good at that. I played hockey, was never good at that. I played baseball, was never good at that, and that's okay because guess what? What I guess what I was good at? Literally nothing. Maybe playing video games, but even then I sucked dick. Like I remember literally playing GTA San Andreas when I was a kid, and I never beat it. I never got past the first stage. Like literally never. I just like spent the entire game just like stealing cars and driving around the entire city like four or five times, and then I would turn it off and then I'd go to sleep. That's what I did. It's okay. When you're a kid, you're not really good at anything. Like, you don't have the expertise to, like, really hyper-focus on stuff because your, your attention span is, like, 40 seconds. So, naturally, you're not going to be good at anything. I just don't understand why Amber has to choose to be, like, so incredibly amazing while she's a child, a children, and then as an adult, she's just incredibly mid. Like, it just doesn't make any sense, dude. Like, it's all right to be ass when you're a kid. Everybody was ass when they were a child. It is what it is. One second prize. But the time I won second prize, the first prize winner was actually one of my very, very good friends. And what Why does she sound like this, dude? When when was this? Why does Amber sound so incredibly like, yeah, well, I did win this prize. Like, she's trying to dial in like a, I don't know, like a child's way of speaking, dude. Why does she sound like this? She did was a dance slash skit in sign language to um, the song Lean On Me. Bro, what is this, bro? Why does she keep going back to this shit? And I actually choreographered, choreographed that for her. Why? Why is it always Lean On Me? Try pop. What are your fears? I'm just gonna say my first main, this is my legitimate, hardcore, just, Who's even asking her this, dude? I guess fear of like not eating maybe, like a girl has some major, major problems with food aggression. She has to eat consistently. So probably maybe that. Phobia to the max. Oof, I don't even wanna start talking about it, but I have tripop phobia really bad. If you guys don't know what that is, Google it because I don't wanna talk about it at all. I think this is- I'm pretty sure Amber probably, I remember like back in like 2016 or 2019-ish, like in that time period, where everybody was talking about triphobia or whatever that shit's called because there was a few Facebook posts so that shit was trendy really quickly. If you go on Google Trends and you type it in, I'm pretty sure you can find like a giant bump in it. So I'm pretty sure Amber probably saw that and she probably realized that this could be a new lore point for her. Even though it's a facade, I don't believe that she actually has that particular phobia. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know why she would choose to... I don't know why she would choose that one other than literally it was trendy. So she decided that she would be a part of the trend and it would be cool for her to get some more lore points. I just, it's just so weird, dude. Like, are you, you're not, like, all that's telling me is you're not cool enough by yourself and you got to come up with random points to try to make it seem like you're cool. It's all right, Amber. You, you, you're cool exactly the way you are, dude. Actually talk about stuff that's real. It's really cute because it has like holes in it. I don't know. Worst fear? Tripophobia. Phobio, phobia. You guys are gonna be. See that mold right there? Can you guys help me with that? This... <laughs> dude, does she rent this apartment, dude? Just call up your landlord and be like, hey, dude, there's like 
mold growing on my vent, dude. And I'm like a 560 pound girly. And uh, that's going to be impossible for me to get up on a stepladder. If I do that, it's going to take off like five years of my life if I fall down. So can you like hurry up and get over here and like bring those Mexican dudes that you obviously know are not actually uh, legally here and have them actually repair the wall or the ceiling or whatever has mold? Just do that. Like I, if you live in an apartment, just do that, dude. Recently started. Um, it was when the AC was running during the summertime. Current fears, trypophobia. It's very soft, it's flowery, and it has like random holes in it. Beautiful. I just thought it was really cute. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Fear? Responsibility. <laughs> that's, that's realistically the response that you should get from this. Responsibility, taking accountability for myself, actually registering anything that I say as fact and going back on it consistently and people calling that out. Yeah, those were my true fears. Being alone. That is another great one. Definitely. Being alone. That is a factual statement, dude. Amber did not want to hear that, dude. That's a fact. Damn, Becky came out with the heat. No. What do you mean, no? Yeah, that's exactly what it is, dude. Why are you lying, dude? Literally, our girl cannot stop herself from being in relationships, dude. She literally jumps from one to the next, and she cannot be alone. That's a factual statement, dude. Becky is literally on top of that. And to be honest, <coughs> anybody that's dating Amber Lynn has to acknowledge this. Does she like you or is she just with you because she can't be alone? That is a good question. I think the real answer to that question is she just can't be alone. Now, given that information, do you still want to be with her? She doesn't actually like you. She just wants to be with you. And I'm sure she likes certain things about you, but it makes no difference given the fact the primary reason why she's with you is because she can't be alone. It's like being a guy that is only paying for a woman to have sex with him. If you know what it is, it should be fine, but why are you expecting more from this person? At the end of the day, uh, you're basically just giving her your love and uh she's utilizing it and that's it that's all it is dude but becky is totally on that trypophobia fuck you knew that damn that's tough dude that's really tough because like amber i think a lot of times amber doesn't like to think about the fact that she has real issues but if we're being honest dude she should probably spend some time thinking about that stuff because i think honestly speaking this girl has spent her entire life not thinking about anything in this cardigan because this one is never makes me hot this one is super thin with these tiny little okay i don't think it's like means that she doesn't have a thing against trypophobia or whatever the fuck they call that shit a lot of she only she could wear what she wants dude i know some i knew a dude that used to tell me that he didn't like eating rice because it reminded him of maggots or whatever. But like literally two years later, I saw him at a Chinese food restaurant body slamming some fucking rice. Sometimes people just lie. People just say certain things and they'll go, oh, yeah, man. Like, I'm just like, I, I, this is my lore point. It's just all most of the time is bullshit. Holes in it, so. Do you have any weird phobias? I do. It is called trypophobia. I don't want to talk about it. I will leave the word right here. You guys can Google it. Even just talking about the word or thinking about it in any sort of way honestly gives me the goosebumps and I start to cry. I uh, okay. Yeah, it's starting to cry is a little bit extreme. I don't want to go there right now. It is probably by- Bro, what is this background, dude? What is this? Damn, bro. How does, why does she have all this shit behind her? What is this? Are these necklaces? How come she doesn't wear these anymore? All I see her wearing now are just the the chokers. That's all I ever see her wearing is chokers. Who is this? By far one of my biggest phobias ever. I also need a new comforter because I've been so cold in the night because dude. this has so many holes in it. But this is like what is all this trash right here, dude? Can you throw some of this stuff away? This looks like butt cheeks. Like one of my favorite blankets, but dots and I don't do dots. I'm going to be starting one of these dot to dots. There's literally <laughs> okay, I guess a thousand on, dots. Dude. I don't know. So I have a weird thing about, oh my God, I can't even say it. Clusters of things. Ew. I'm sorry, baby. Like, look at her. Look at her. She's so big. Oh my God. And I want to show her and do her. Whoa. Oh, I'm getting the goosebumps now. People don't understand it unless you understand it. Um, Like holes. The litter box scooper, the holes were too small. So we had to get a new one. Clusters of like dots. Here is my completed diamond painting of the Pokemon. That's pretty cool, dude. I mean, it's. I like that Amber does have these passions, but it kind of seems like she always tries to do something to, I don't know, take her attention away from the fact that she's lonely. So she finds things that are going to replace that. And most of the time, they're just like, there are things that she doesn't do for a long time. Like, I don't doubt that she probably does this for like maybe... 
a few days and then she gets over it and then now she's back to being lonely again and i see this with the legos i see this with her collecting stuff the sheen halls or whatever the fuck she does torrid halls like she only does that for a certain portion of time and i think she realizes that when she spends money it's not actually doing anything for you and a lot of people will tell you that money is the key to happiness when in reality i've never heard somebody at the end of their life tell you that they had the best time when they were buying something or like it was great when you bought this like bugatti or it was really great when you bought your i the 15th iphone that you got or whatever most of the time it's you know i feel really happy about the time that i had my kids I'm really happy about the time that i got married um Maybe that time you graduated from school. Like, there's a lot of that. Like, actual moments with your family and friends and momentous occasions. Not that time you bought an iPhone. So, uh, it, it does seem like Amber does have a problem with buying stuff and trying to supplement that in a way to try to remedy her loneliness. Oh, see, I'm starting to, like, shake. Bro, she got that uh, Beetlejuice outfit on right now. I don't know why. I used to have snake bites. If you can see the dots. The holes next to my lips. God Oh, 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 I don't know, but like, oh, I'm like starting to get itchy and I have the goosebumps. How do you like live like knowing that you could scratch an itch and your itch is like 17 inches wider than mine? I feel like that'd be monstrously uncomfortable to itch something and then have to reach around all the way over here. Like you have so much extra surface area that you can go across. You know, you know. Salami trigger, salami is a trigger food for me. Salami is very, is everything I hate. Why? Wait, what's wrong with salami? So you're wondering, what am I having a food aversion to right now? These. It's like these salami sticks, and yeah. you get so many for a serving that it like satisfies me, and I don't feel triggered while I eat them. But I opened it, and there was just a bunch of like white dots on it, and I'm pretty sure it was just like fat. the fat from yeah. the salami coming out in like dots, and I don't do dots, and it was just all over, and I was like, oh my god. What so do you think salami is, dude? Isn't that that's literally what salami is, bro? That's like that's like uh, buying a car and being like, I can't do the wheels. I can't do the wheels. Then what what did you expect, dude? They're, that's literally what they are. I had to throw them away because like literally. In your mouth? You throw them away in your mouth? It made me ill even just looking at it. Turns out they were all like that. So now I am completely turned off by those things, like disgust. So I had two packs of these salami snack packs. Um, I like to have them as a snack unfortunately sometimes they are a trigger for me i got some peppered salami salami can be triggering for me but i'm hoping but my I mouth but my mouth i need that shit in my throat right now so i'm about to body slam a lot of them right now don't worry about it i know i sound like salami before but i like it more now so don't worry about that guys all right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. I hope you don't mind that I had a pimple on the side of my face. I'm breaking out. I don't understand why I'm breaking out. I Maybe it's because I'm just so ungodly levels of attractive that uh, whatever deity is up there, the giant spaghetti monster, decided to bestow upon me inadequacies in order to uh, make me feel worse about myself. But I feel fine. It's not like a big deal or anything like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the Amberlynn Reed video today. I actually really dislike her, but not dis so much dislike that I wouldn't talk to her. I would talk to her, potentially for hours, because I would love to tell her why she's wrong about literally almost everything that she says. Um, I would also like to compliment her on, her on her ability to use a choker as consistently as she does, and her ability to maintain <laughs> over 500 pounds for a very long period of time. Say whatever you want, that is a moment, that is a great achievement. I have no idea how much food you would be eating in a day to maintain 500 pounds. Maybe somebody can let me know down below. Uh, I'd appreciate that. But anyway, if you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in grass because we need to all touch it tonight. Uh, touch it all day, every day, all over me. Touch me too. I identify as grass. Please touch grass. Um, but yeah, if you watch the video in its entirety, touch grass down below. Um, write it down below or put a grass emoji. I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. I'd appreciate it tremendously. If um, you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.